Today I'm going to be reviewing this Bulls and Bears game that was recently sent to me by the brand. Now essentially this game is designed to help people play and learn about different sorts of investing. They do recommend this for ages 12 and up because it is going to be more of a complex game. It also is going to be a longer game as well, taking between 60 and 90 minutes to play. So let me go ahead and pull it out here, show you exactly what you're going to get. You can think of it along the lines of Monopoly and that it's going to have some thought behind it. Monopoly, Monopoly is going to be more like a luck-based type thing, whereas this one is going to have some additional, you know, okay, there's a bear market, there's a bull market right here, there's some luck, speculation, okay, so you know, you're taking kind of taking a gamble or taking a risk, that sort of thing, income, that sort of a thing. You're going to have all the different types of money that you can have here. So you got all the way up to 500k, so you start $1,000 bills all the way up to 500k. And then this is going to then be a looks like a lifetime or like yep this is going to be some dividends there's going to be some different cards in here um so this is grow for me dividends um those sorts of things you're going to have bull market cards you're going to have bear market cards so you're obviously going to put those on the board here and these are going to tell you what to do so here's for example a bull market card so you land on bull market here on the board then it's going to say trade any of the following up to the trading limit bond for me price per share forty dollars limit five thousand shares grow for me price per share ninety dollars limit five thousand shares Okay, so you can trade a multiple of thousands shares. So you can trade them, um, you know, because it's a it's a um, a bull market. Then we're going to look at a bear market. So you're going to then trade any of these at the trading limit. So here, bond for me is $100, so it's gone up because it's a bear market because it's bonds. But grow for me is way down $30. Life for me is price per share is $50. Okay, limit 10,000 shares. Tech for me price is $20, so it's way down at the bottom of the limit. Essentially, it's going to help teach those who maybe aren't super familiar with stock markets how those markets are going to affect. Same thing with speculation. Let's look at the speculation cards here. So roll a dice. This is going to be commodities trading. Roll a dice. If you get a 1 through 8, you lose $10,000. If you get a 9 through 12, you win $20,000. So again, it's going to be based on speculation, okay? So you might lose $10,000. You might win $20,000. So that's going to be the speculation cards. And then they're also going to have the luck base cards. So let me pull those out of here as well. So this is going to be roll a dice. If you get one through six, you're going to buy 1,000 shares. So that's lucky. Seven through 12, you're going to buy 5,000 shares for 50,000. So the same price, you're just able to buy more of them for that cheap price. Okay, so it's a life for me IPO, essentially. And these are going to be your shares. So you can see here, this is going to be 1,000 shares. Your dividend is $1,000, which you'll get if you get like a certain card. It'll give you the $1,000 dividend. Um, or it might be if you actually land on income. Okay, so there's income. Oh, here's dividend over here. So that's going to be if you land on dividend, it's going to be based on the shares that you have. So you can kind of think of it kind of like a monopoly. There's going to be four different cards that you're going to draw. You're going to have money. You're going to have shares. It's just more a, a way of learning, a way of playing and figuring out, you know, the stock market, how all of that is affected. It's also going to have quick reference charts. So the price is going to be this much for this many shares. You shouldn't necessarily need that. It's going to, it's going to be relatively easy. So say a thousand shares, 110, $110,000 is how much it's going to cost or how much you're going to get from the sales. It does make it uh, relatively easy that all of it is going to be like on even tens does look like so the price is 20 30 40 50 60 70 um, 90 110 um, etc so uh, that does make it a little bit easier and then your game avatar i'm not sure what these cards are for okay so this is going to be your profession is so i'm guessing you're going to probably roll for these so you got one through 12 your profession is chef so your income is seventy thousand dollars so i'm assuming when you pass income which is going to be right down here on the board then when you pass income then you're going to get your income of seventy thousand dollars your starting cash is one hundred and forty thousand dollars so your win goal is to re accumulate $2.4 million on easy. Win goal is to have a dividend of $110,000 on difficult. Okay, so you can play this easy or hard. Going to be a doctor, starting cash 500000 those sorts of things all through there. And then you're also going to come with the little pieces. And then also this is going to be a 12-sided die that you're going to then play. So overall, definitely a pretty interesting game. A great way to play like maybe with... Um, teenagers who are just getting into that maybe even younger adults who are just like learning about the stock market trying to figure it out that sort of thing it kind of helps equate okay during a bear market what's going to happen to the price of say bonds well typically in a bear market market bonds are going to go up obviously that's not always true um, but you know typically that would be true in a bull market bonds are going to be worth less than say high flying tech stocks or those sorts of things you know you can it just helps discuss speculation in here so yeah, you might want to take a flyer on the next meme stock, but understand that you could 
there's a high likelihood you could lose all of that money, that sort of a thing. So it does have that those different speculations in here. So there's even like, here's Forex trading. Roll the dice, if you get one through eight, you lose 10,000. Nine through 12, you win 20,000. So again, you're speculating on different things. So Forex, commodities, cryptocurrency, um, those sorts of things are going to all be inside of this speculation card. And then what you do is you land and go work around. And obviously your goal is going to be to meet the easy goal or the hard goal that are going to be on here. So overall, definitely a pretty fun game.